What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So today, I'm gonna bring you something different here. I promise you an ab exercise in particular for the lower abs that you've never tried before, and I'm gonna take it a step further than that. I think what I'm gonna show you here today is actually gonna be the best lower ab exercise you've done for a lot of reasons, because it's going to be able to challenge and help a lot of different people no matter what ability level you're at right now. So we know when we're training the lower abs, you wanna pick some movement that moves the pelvis up towards the shoulders, curls from the bottom up. And we might try lots of different exercises to do this, like hanging ab exercises, hanging knee raises, hanging leg raises, right? But there's a problem with these exercises, a couple actually. Number one, beginners sometimes find it very challenging to hang out and, and hold themselves up on the bar for any meaningful amount of time to be able to get enough reps in to challenge themselves. The second thing is, these exercises, if not cued properly, can become over-reliant on the hip flexors to do the movement. And I've talked about before the key in showing your ass, meaning to show your ass and curl your pelvis up while you do these exercises, but sometimes because of weakness in the lower abs, people aren't able to do that, and they tend to just use the hip flexors to lift the legs. We could also do a ton of exercises on the ground to hit the lower abs, with the same concept being pull the legs up or move the pelvis backwards. But again, the same things apply here too, in that you're actually using your hip flexors far too much, shutting down the lower ab activation and defeating the entire purpose. But what we can do is we can do this exercise right here. And this we call a screwdriver. Now guys, you set yourself up into a dip station. And the key here to this exercise is you really don't have to worry too much about curling the pelvis up and this makes it a lot more tolerable for beginners because all you have to do is learn how to posteriorly tilt and lift yourself up. Now for those who've watched this channel for any length of time, you say, well, but Jeff, that's your gymnast ab exercise. And I have tried it before because I've watched you before. Well, it's actually a little bit different because all you have to do now is you hold yourself in this position, which by the way is a lot easier and it's a lot more helpful for those who have any kind of shoulder problems because this compression of the joint actually provides more stability in the shoulder than that distraction does when you hang from a bar. So it actually is a lot easier. So what we do for the exercise is we come down and we screw drive ourselves down into the ground and we pull up and then down and pull up. And you'll see I'm trying to keep my elbows relatively straight so that all the work is being done by the abs and the obliques. And that's one of those extra added benefits here why I love it so much is that anytime we can take muscles that prefer to work together and get them to work together, like the abs and obliques, then we got a winner. And we just do this for time. Okay, the other benefit to this, and why I really like this, is what happens when we have and over-reliance on those hip flexors. We tend to get tight hip flexors, which will cause low back pain. So anybody that gets low back pain from doing ab exercises kind of runs out of options and things to do to hit your lower abs. This actually gives us an opposite effect. We get decompression of the spine because once we let our arms post us up here and then we let our pelvis drop, we have a, a decompression of the spine. You can literally feel your pelvis drop and open up some nice room in your low back. So it should feel pretty good in terms of that. It's like a distraction. So from there again, just an up and a down, and that's it. And again, I actually have had to move to these kind of exercises over the years because of the issue I had with my shoulder, and I found that the added benefits of getting that compression were helping that out, and at the same time, working together in a way that hasn't been working before. So give this one a try, guys. It's the screwdriver. I promise you, even the beginners can do this as long as you can hold yourself up, which shouldn't be that much work because you don't want to sit here with bent elbows the whole time. Let your joints sort of hold you up there. It's going to work for you guys, I promise. If you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, has lots of criteria of how we arrive at the exercises that we use in our program, because they have to work and they have to be safe, we have them all put together for you already in our step-by-step -step program. That's over at athletics.com. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else you want me to cover, and I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. See you soon.